Earlier in the show, you talked about uh, consumer discretionary before you folks came on. Uh, they are very close to the consumer. They're very close to millennials because the big banks have the best mobile technology. And they're about to add the millennials as liability customers, not just depositors. And it's much more profitable to be a bank that makes a lot of money to lending to people. And uh, we have that ahead of us. So therefore, uh, the business could get a lot better the next five years. And of course, they will, will probably be past their problems in the next couple of years. So some would suggest within the big banks, they've got the least exposure to millennials. So this is something you think they're going to change or, or that the market's already missing? There's 90 million millennials. They're, they're like 30% of the population of the United States of America. There is no big bank that isn't dealing with millions and millions of millennials. We have to remember, you, know, you look at the composition of why is the United States doing so much better than everyone else? Uh, and why is Forever 21 going bankrupt? Well, the answer is because the youngest millennials aren't 21. There are no more millennials at 21. So they're going to have to be 30 and 35 and 40. And when people get to be 30 to 40 and have kids, their spending composition goes from uh, discretionary to necessity spending. And then secondly, they go from not being a liability customer to being a liability customer. You've also gone for Occidental Petroleum. Talk us through that one. Well, you, you don't stick your two- and four-year-old child in an Uber and, and, and send them to preschool. Uh, the, the, everyone says when they're 23 and they're not married that they're not going to have a van. Uh, and then people get a couple of kids and all the junk and they get a van. Uh, so the, the, the future is very bright here for the, the use of gasoline as the millennials move from the urban core to the suburbs or move from the most expensive cities to the rest of the country to live their life. So we really, this idea that energy doesn't matter anymore because, you know, Al Gore's running around talking about climate change is, a, is kind of an urban myth.